polar bears, walruses, seals, whales, seabirds, icebergs. Join us on our expedition in search of polar bears and the wildlife of Svalbard. Located far above the Arctic Circle, Svalbard can truly be called the Galapagos of the North Atlantic. Despite the harshness of this land, wildlife is tame and relatively common. Every day of field offers something new, something exciting. Barnacle geese nesting, eider ducks, northern fulmars, each day is special. Ring seals, the favorite prey of the polar bear, always on the lookout and always skittish. Bearded seals should be called the mustache seals for their prominent whiskers and one of the Arctic's icons, the walrus. 3,000 pounds, these huge pinnipeds, or seal-like animals, are clam eaters, sucking the flesh from the shells of a clam like a giant vacuum cleaner. Their prominent tusks are used in defense and also in fights among themselves. Both sexes have tusks, which can grow about a meter long. Perhaps a walrus is graceful when swimming, but when they're coming ashore, they're ponderous. A diet that consists of thousands of clams a day, well, it's obvious that clams are not a diet food. We photograph wildlife from zodiacs and also from our base, the wonderful ship, the Stockholm. One, Either two, way, three, throw. we have a lot of fun. <laughs> While cruising, beauty is everywhere, subtle at times. While on other occasions, the scenes are simply spectacular. The seas vary, ice free for hours, then filled with pack ice. As we search, for the reason for this expedition, the polar bear versus Maritimus, the sea bear. Bears dry their fur by rubbing themselves on the snow. It's effective, but it also looks like it's a lot of fun. A male bear like this one, may spend nearly its entire life on water. Much of that time, of course, the bear will be on ice, but the sea bear can swim for days if need be, as they travel searching for seals. We waited hours for this bear to do something, but then it performed, and a bear that we originally named Cheeky because of a spot on its cheek, we christened the circus bear for the performance that it gave us over the next nearly three hours. We've had luck with bears on every trip, hunting the ice floes, cautiously approaching our ship. We've had mothers and cubs. This mother was shy, but we've had moms and cubs playing or feeding right next to our ship for hours. There are always surprises a spectacular nesting colony of black-legged kittiwakes. There were thousands of birds and arctic foxes that were hunting along the cliff's base, looking for eggs or chicks and scavenging any dead birds that they found. And as the kittiwakes illustrate, Svalbard offers much more than just bears. But besides good photos, there's also the opportunity to make good friends. People come for the bears, though, and that is the focus of our expedition. So come join us in 2019.